Hi folks, uh, Rob here with what's going to be the unbox and play and mini review of Darkness. Now I had a bit of a brief run of gameplay in the pickups video where I showed that I got it, but now this is, before I get into the actual review, I thought I'd actually unbox the Ultimate Edition, which I ordered here, and show you, give a quick look of what's inside. So first thing, just have a look at the box itself. It's rather nice solid cardboard, a little, much different from the kind of cardboard you get in boxes back in the day. Um, a lot of releases here, and it's got the nice little sticker on it of the of the cover art and indicating you know, the joint publication. Flip around the back, and what we've got is in their standard box art and description of the contents and how it's all sourced for, for, for purchasing it. So I'll pull this open. First thing inside is is the limited number, um, lucky number 15. So, and we'll go, we'll just go through bit by bit. So, first off, there's a slip of the instructions. Now, from what I gave, it's actually a little different from the one that comes with the actual cassette or disc. I presume this is probably more tight for the disc release. Um, I ordered mine on cassette, and it's basically got another copy on the inlay there. It's just primarily just, you know, brief description of the controls and what everything means. We've then, we've also got a little sticker, which is um, just of the cover art. Looks, looks, I don't know if I could actually stick this up anyway, but it looks pretty cool regardless. And next up is the actual game. I ordered mine on cassette, um, again, for more convenience than, obvious, than, than anything. Um, should also be mentioned that regardless of how you order it, you'll get digitals of everything. So I ordered from Cytronic and got both the cassette and disc version as disc as images, which I ran off my ultimate instead of actually loading this up for real. There's a few surprises on the tape. I probably will keep those a surprise. Um, though you can find them on find them if you have it if you have the disc version, you'll see them easy enough. Um, and again, it's got the standard uh, instruction blurb, uh, story blurb with some screens. Next up, we've got a little key ring. Uh, one side's got the logo with both Cytronic and RGCD's logo. RGCD, of course, handle, handling the cartridge release. And on the back is just the, the logo itself. I don't know how else is coming out. I don't think... Autofocus is my friend here. <laughs> <laughs> then, there's a copy of the, the whole soundtrack on CD, which is actually rather nice. Um, one thing that's really nice as well, it's recorded from a C64 with the latest, uh, with the later 8580 SID chip as it indicates in the corner there, which is really convenient because my C64s um, only have the, the 6581 chip, so there's a bit of sound variance between them. So I'm actually, I need to actually rip that and put that in my, my MP3 collection for later playing. Um, last but not least is, is a poster map. One side we've got poster, a much bigger version of the box art. Uh, this angle isn't working as well as it could. And we flip that around on the back. There's also a nice game map, which is really, which is going to be really handy. But then the box is lined with some nice sort of foam. Feels really solid in there. So that is more or less what's in the box for the Ultimate Edition. And with that out of the way, I'm going to do a nice cut. And we and we'll get into the gameplay.
And here we are with the actual, uh, with darkness. Darkness in action. Uh, I decided to let the intro run nice and silently, just so you could sort of see that in action. But now we've gone, now we're just let the crunch the main game. And here we are, nice, nice sort of mixture of high res backgrounds you can sort of see surrounding the the uh, initial credits there in the background. It's some multicolor stuff. Let's dive in. So, hopefully I get a little further than when I than when I did my initial play earlier, just a demo. Mm, it didn't start off that well, but yeah. So the idea is we explore the forests and we need to find, there are eight different mask pieces. Four are green, four are purple. Those will, those are used to gain access into the sanctum. Um, the final sanctum, which is where uh, Stan's girlfriend is being held. And I was shooting the plants there as they leave little pickups. You'll see the little purple pickups. Those are used to upgrade um, my weapon, which I've done now, uh, level three. This, the weapon itself goes to four levels. Um, now there are other different pickups you can get. Some for, oh, that was a terrible run. That was a terrible run. I might actually, I may actually switch joysticks. Okay. So that was a terrible run because I just got uh, taken out on, you know, third or fourth screen. So let's try again. So as you see, you got these, uh, each of the screen enemies will spawn. And there are also a number of, number of bushes, other things to clear out. Those are important because you can get pickups. Um, now, in the last game, I was able to get two weapon upgrades, which is most of them. You actually, I think it's four times you can upgrade your your primary weapon. It's like various sort of knives, memory serves. Um, in this case, this it's going to get a lot harder as a result if I don't find any pickups because those the enemies tend to spawn a lot. Especially to take a few hits. So one thing I don't like is you can go into a room and as you've just seen, um, sometimes they spawn a little too close. But at least you have a few seconds of invulnerability when you are hit. Alright. So we've got a key, we've got a key. Now you use keys to open um, various gateways. They're not related to the main. You'll need them probably to find mask pieces, but they're not. Now we've got one of the mask pieces. Go back. It's a lot harder without the weapon upgrades, as you, as you're not careful, you'll be overwhelmed. I mean, it's the sort of thing where if you don't have the the space, just exit and re-enter the room. As someone who never really played Saber Wolf, which is one of the main <clears throat> pieces of inspiration for the Darkness, um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Like, I never really played Saber Wolf, never really played many of the Ultimate games. <clears throat> ah, as I never really played many of the Ultimate games, is the ones that were converted to the C60, well, not really converted, the ones they brought to the C64 were not the, the ones they were more known for. I've only played a few of the, their Spectrum ones under emulation. Let's actually go for another shot. Hopefully third time's a charm and actually get a bit further in. That's a bit embarrassing that, that that's not the case. Yeah, sometimes you just you need to just run in and out, especially if Now, the locations of masks and keys seems to be fairly consistent between games, so of course, it's time to uh, dig out a map. Yeah, paper and actually get a map drawn as you play through. Yeah, sometimes... Uh, so, green key. Yeah, one thing I, I find a bit annoying is you... As well, and again, these are minor frustrations. Is sometimes the that animation when enemies spawn in is a little too can sometimes clash with the background. 
so you might sometimes think you're clear, but you're not. But again, that's a minor thing. And all in up, you know, the game's incredibly well presented. With the, you were seen, as you saw with the intro, as you saw, there's also a lot of little goodies on the disc or tape as well. Um, I won't actually spoil those, but suffice to say, there are actually some kind of little things there to find. Now I just hope I can find a uh, weapon upgrade and some help. Actually, most of the enemies you destroy, but you would have just seen that elephant walk out of the screen. The elephant is basically you can't touch. That's insta kill. Which I like for the challenge aspect, as it makes you, you know, you've got to have something to keep you on your toes. Let's see. All right. Okay, so in this case we can't open that gateway as it requires a blue key. So when we find that gateway we can then go for it logically. Alright, now we're at the start screen. So technically out of the way, I mean, I, what I feel, controls are, are excellent, they feel incredibly tight and, you know, you don't have to worry about holding the five multiple types. And you can see it's sort of deep, and there we go. But yeah, you don't have to repeatedly hit the five button to shoot, you can just hold it down. Controls are incredibly tight. Graphics are nice, a good mix of high of high res graphics like these background tiles, as well as multicolored graphics, you know, no flicker, no, technically all really well polished. Um, I'm going to give it one last shot. So far I've been playing utterly terribly. It's a bit of a disappointment. Um, hopefully it can survive a little longer. And It's nice that the actual grass doesn't block you from moving. Would have been very frustrating had that been the case. Alright, so we've got a weapon upgrade there. You can sort of see we've got... You can see our weapon has changed. That'll make it a little easier to survive. Yeah, from what I understand, the core objects, keys, masks are in the same locations, but the pickups, the power-ups aren't. So, yeah, there's a lot, still a lot of exploration, especially to be prepared. Alright, green key. So, I mean, in terms of checking this out, I, I strongly, I strongly think it's worth doing so. Even if you just grab the digital download, it's it's great to see that you know, unlike some other retro communities, the C for one do embrace the fact that there is modern technology out there. I mean, you know, you can you can buy the game in a digital format and then copy it to real hardware, which is certainly an option. I mean, even though I had the physical tape, as you as I showed earlier in the unboxing, I still you know, get the chance to use the, not actually have to worry about using it to play the game. So, I definitely, I definitely recommend you check it out. I will put some links um, in the description. There we go, we've just got a speed boost. That white one is for invincibility. So I'll grab that as well. This doesn't mean we can last a little. Okay, there's the elephant. We have to be careful about the elephant. As we can't shoot it at all, we have to just avoid it completely. Alright, so we need a rookie to get in there. Curses. Damn 
Let's start off at being hit this time, which is good. Oh, that's another key. Woohoo! Can't do much there. Excellent. We've got an extra heart too. And that gate gate of course was open because we were able to use the green key to do it. That's a second green mask. There's another speed up. I do like to actually clean each room out as I explore, just for the sake of being able to know, oh, I don't need to clear that one when I go back. I mean, survival really is a case of just working out a pattern to systematically... Excellent. I know, what can... I know where we need that red key. Damn it, lost another heart. We get a red key. That's a third of the green masks. Which means. So, having got the white key, I'm going to go back and unlock where that opens, which isn't too far away from where I am now, thankfully. Ah, excellent. An extra heart. I really could use that. <laughs>
Oh, dead end. Alright. Ooh. What always happens when you're moving into a new section? Just to unpack the necessary. And here the pots now act like the the grass did in the last in the outdoors. Uh, I think we've already been through here. Okay, we're outside again. Ah, well, there we go. Um, actually, a good run that time. So, all in all, uh, that is darkness, which is incredibly fun homebrew game. Um, I definitely think you should check it out. As I said, it's even if you just grab the digital download to play on a C64 emulator, it's incredibly cheap to do so. Um, you get the you, know, you get the game images, you'll get the, the instruction manuals, and you know, in a nice convenient format. It's really convenient to play. Um, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, do uh, leave a thumbs up, and of course, if you haven't already, um, do subscribe. Um, thanks for everyone who has subscribed, and I'll catch you all on the next one.